On the day the photo was taken, Uncle Chad was mean, Dad was sad, Mom was mad, Travis was loud, Gramp was quiet. So this is something else that Ethan left around. Oh. So there's Ethan standing next to Gramps. I guess Mom and Dad are in the middle. And then I guess Travis and Uncle Chad off to the right. It's not really putting any... Oh, wait a second. They're, they're matched up with where they are on the photo. So Dad and Mom are separate, actually. Huh. Alright, well. That is interesting, Ethan. Thank you for illuminating me on the goings-on. What? These are the same rooms found in the other house. Whoa, these are the- Whoa! This is the- This is the same layout as the other house. It's the exact same layout, except that it, there's an open door right there. You can feel it, right? Something, uh... Something coming from the Vandegrift house. I can feel it. Ethan disturbed the sleeper. He must be punished. What? What are you talking about? Hmm. I'm getting a true detective vibe from this game, and I really like it. If you have not seen True Detective. Pop, they're getting worse. They keep talking about this thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know is if it's real or not. Like, there's a lot of supernatural... H hints at the supernatural, but I'm sure it will just end up being... Well, I don't want to ruin True Detective for anyone who hasn't seen it. But if you haven't, and you have access to HBO Go, I highly, highly recommend it. It's not my fault. I didn't mean for any of this to happen! <laughs> he awoke the sleeper, huh? Ah, apologies if I'm missing clues. I just don't see him. I mean, they, they, they kind of stick out a little bit. There's nothing that really sticks out in this house, though. Okay, I came from in there. Yeah, this house is the exact same layout. Odd. I can't tell if it's the developers just being like... You have to help us. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. You're crazy. You've all gone crazy. It wants Ethan. What is it? I think I've walked in all the rooms I can walk in. What did you do? What did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room, I walked into it, that's it. Holy crap, guys, hang on a second. It is storming like crazy outside out of nowhere hang on all right i'm going back to this part because apparently i missed a lot of stuff like when this happens apparently you're supposed to look around until they come together or something like that aha I didn't even know you could do this. Alright, so it's showing me where the rock is. Looks like it's next to a stump. And that stump is next to some tracks. So I guess we'll just have to look for the rock. 
Alright, thanks for giving me a 360 degree view. That's very helpful. And then if I find it, I guess I put it back or something? Okay, I guess this is... These, <laughs> this is all the clues that we get. That sounded weird to say. These are all the clues we get? This is the only clue we get. <laughs> oh my god, I need to stop correcting my grammar. Okay. Uh, and then there's this. I remember this one also said rail car. Yes, yes, we all know. I see. But I already know where the rail car is, so what's the point of doing that? Oh well. Oh, right, the crank. Maybe it'll show me where the crank is. Oh, no way, it's down by the water. There's the dam. That's about all the context we're going to get, I guess. Alright, well I guess I'll look for the crank. Maybe then we can use it and move the rail car? Again, I can't believe I missed all this <laughs> I almost called it crap. I can't believe I missed all this stuff. Do I have to redo all of these? I think I might, in order to activate whatever it wants me to activate when I'm done with all this. I guess I gotta inspect the gasoline can too. So we've got two items to go get. <sighs> and apparently I also uh, missed like a complete other scene on the way there too. Oh yes, I already did that, thank you. Go away. Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's go find that crank. What's up, dude? So who is this guy? He's not Ethan. I wonder if it's like... That jacket. I wonder if it's... What if it's somebody from that photo earlier? Didn't Travis say something about trying to kill him or something? Or like, we gotta kill Ethan or whatever. There it is! Wow! There's blood on it. That was That's for sure. Okay, and uh, oh! Um... I guess we'll take it back to the rail car now. Man, sorry I missed all this stuff, guys. I thought I was moving through this game rather surgically, but I guess not. Sheesh. Oh, no way. So this also has blood on it. So what's the deal with that? Well, it's just, it's just weird. There's a crank, and there's also a rock, so are there two bodies? Two different bludgeonings? Alright, whatever. Hey! Sorry about all the clicking. Wow, we get to drive the rail car. That is pretty sweet. Oh my god, we're moving. We're freaking moving! The 
right here ish what the fuck does that mean let me move it up a little bit and then it'll be good so just like just a little bit like right there good we're good All right, that's not perfect, whatever. So is it? Oh, not quite enough. I guess we put the uh, rock back then. Wait. Wait. This way's faster. I almost went down again. Oh, right here. For some reason, I thought it was on the other side. Is that it? Oh my god. It's the grandpa! Ed! He hit him with the crank handle! There's no blood on it then. Oh wow. Is this Ethan right here? What's he doing here? Who is this guy? We haven't seen his face yet. Oh, no way! It's, uh, Travis. He wanted to sacrifice Ethan because he awoke the sleeper or whatever. He was getting ready to run him over when Grandpa Ed came along. Looks like he doesn't give a shit. He's got the rock with him. Chronology. Tag. Oh, I've got to pick the order? Uh, three? Okay, wait, 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 wait. So this is one. Well, what's this then? Wait. This is two. This is three. Yeah, this is four. Obviously five and six. Space visualize. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. 
He is forever. Gale, honey, I wish there was another way. Travis, tell me where Ethan is, now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants, what all of us want. Look, old man, you need to go home. <gasps> God damn it! Go! Get out of here! Travis, close your eyes. Let's go down there. Grandpa? Stay away! Ethan, I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it! I have to destroy the room! Corvus. I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no! I can't let you do that. Oh, holy shit! Whatever had turned Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience. Because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Hmm. That guy sounds like Powers Booth. Actor. Plays uh, Senator Rourke in Sin City. Slash uh, Cy Tolliver in Deadwood. It's a good actor. That's probably one of the best scenes in Sin, uh, Sin City. Senator Rourke's little monologue. Apparently Christopher Walken and uh, Willem Dafoe both tried out for it. But uh, but he got the scene instead. It was, it was just one scene that he was in. It was the only part of the movie. Okay, now apparently something around here I gotta look for. This! How did I miss this? How did I miss this? hell what where is he Damn it! Alright, third time's the charm. I'm not gonna stop. I'm just gonna keep going the way that he goes. Oh, okay. I went the long way last time.
There you are, you little bastard! Jeez! Okay. Stop! Almost caught ya. What the fuck? What? No! Beat me up too! Oh god. Am I gonna get probed? Leave my anus alone, pl wow. Starting to get space sick. Oh my god. This is pretty bizarre, but it's kind of fun. Fangs. The beast had fangs, but was heavy and slow. So when it saw the light in the sky, it waited, thinking the light would go out like the others before it. When it did not, the beast rose up on its legs and went to the place where the fire was still burning. As the orange light died, another took its place. This one was blue, a bright and pure blue that the creature had only seen along the edges of the stars. The beast showed its fangs and the light vanished. A moment later, the light appeared again between two distant trees. The beast wanted to go home, but could not ignore the light, so it chased it deeper into the forest. Do I accept this? I guess so. Get out of my room, Travis! Stories, stories, always with the stories. Get out! I read the Fangs one. I liked uh, the beast. At least he gets to leave this goddamn place. I don't think you were supposed to like the beast, Travis. Ah. Gaylord. Ah, oh, this has been defaced. It's a comic book. What? What is it? Abstract Tales? Yellow Hills of Mars by Douglas Spaulding. Oh, abtru abstruse tales. <laughs> America's finest science fiction. January 1964, 40 cents. Oh, they even call it a defacement there. What the hell does Gaylord mean? Is he just calling him gay? But why a gay lord? Ruler of the gays, I suppose. Okay, um, well, we're done with that scene, and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we're all caught up <laughs> with where I'm supposed to be, which is way over on the other side of the dam. So I missed those two, but I will try to get all the other scenes from now on. Those were the only two that people mentioned in my... Uh, part two video, so I'm just gonna move on. Oh, it's all dried up over here. D -d dried up. <laughs> I I don't know why I stuttered there. Sometimes when I record late at night, my uh, speech slurs and runs together. Apologies. Can't be perfect all the time. For example, I have a sizable following on YouTube, 
But when I go to parties and I don't know anyone there, I still look at my phone and pretend to text everyone. Just like all of you do. I am not the type of person that likes to socialize with strangers. Because how interesting could they be anyway? The farthest you ever get when you talk to strangers is you just make small talk. What do you do? Where are you? How old are you? Do you have any siblings? Are you seeing anyone? Blah, blah, blah. It's just the same old crap. You know what I'd like to do? I'd like to ditch small talk. I'd like to just get right to the meat of it. Ask them really personal questions right off the bat. That's what I'd like to do. Unfortunately, that violates social norms. And if I did that, they'd just get mad at me. But then... People come here for many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. And I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. What? Is betrayal caused by inequality or injustice? Does death bring peace or suffering? What? How do I answer these? Does sin come from the heart or the mind? Do you feel there is vanity in charity? Yes. Do you take that which you know you will not return? Yes. Do you admire thieves for their bravery or their greed? Bravery, of course. What? I didn't answer any of those questions. As far as you know, anyway. Hi. What? What? A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy, but the joy turned to fear and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman, and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared and the mother was beautiful again. What? 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 Ah, what? <laughs> what? What's the... That's really a weird story. I kind of like it. But kind of weird. The point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Man, his family hates his stories. So basically, that story about the witch... Basically, I guess his mom regret regrets having him? And he senses that, so he wrote that story? Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it, and I know I, know I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? Hmm. I see. Well then. Anyway, as I was saying, I'd like to just skip the small talk and get right to the meat. Be like, what are you passionate about? What do you think about 
issues. I don't know. <sighs> then again, that might come across as confrontational. But, like, let's just fucking... I don't know. Who cares what you do? Who cares where you went to school? I don't know. I mean, it doesn't mean anything to me. It means something to you. But when you ask me, and I tell you where I went to school, it doesn't mean anything to you either. Oh god. Oh god! Okay, let's stop chit-chatting and solve this mystery. Looks like we found another death scene. What are these? Little mausoleums, perhaps? What? <laughs> what? How do you know all that? Are you an expert on occult symbols? Oh fuck, are you serious? It's a little too dark in there. Okay. That's weird. I don't really want to go back in there. 